Oops. Right. Um, I'm just going to finish getting set up. I'll get some music on the go as well. We'll switch over to the other view in a sec. Oh, everything is. Oh. Right. Okay. Shift my self. Okay. Uh, welcome in. I am going to be... I'm just going to tweet and stuff and say we're live because I haven't done that yet. I just wanted to like, uh, I totally haven't spent the afternoon faffing around doing almost nothing. Um, um, right. Ah, yes. The age-old classic. Except I would never distract myself with cleaning. I would distract myself by pacing around in circles saying nonsense. Um... Ah, yes. Floor stain. Okay, promise stuff should all be done now. Uh, we're gonna move on and we're gonna actually work on the fucking adventure. That is, that is the plan. All right, there we go. Um, right. So, uh, yesterday we finished chapter one, which is sort of the introduction to the adventure, where the characters will take the job. They'll go and you know do the job there's the three opening encounters there is reclamation inheritance and rolling rocks i hate this name i'm going to change it at some point uh and then we also did the gathering intel section last night at two o'clock in the morning i think it was more three o'clock in the morning i finished these tables of, uh, of information i ended up changing them a little um but not a huge amount um so, for instance, you can learn about the barrister, that she owns a number of beautiful ivory canes, each adorned with the head of a carnivorous animal shaped in gold. She has no need for them, and they are exclusively for show. Um, the barrister is, uh, yeah, is never married, yada yada yada. She's having an affair with one of her maids, which she is. Uh, there's a rumor that the barrister gains her influence through dubious means, largely spread by her estranged brother, Rico. The barrister and her business is currently proce uh, processing the cases of several members of the Avalanche. A major crime family yeah um i also that was one actual, actual fairly relevant thing is um i haven't really mentioned this um which i probably should have done is that obviously the the most prominent uh sort of part of the adventure is the heist of white fire that's like the original namesake of the adventure it's the main ob objective i think most dms will sort of shoot for i think um I, i'm not going to frame it like that but i think I imagine, like, stealing a painting is probably, like, more interesting. I say, I say probably. Is, is, is in, in my opinion, I think is more interesting than the other two. But the other two, like, my personal, f the, the way I've run this adventure every time I've, I've, the first time I ran it, 
I, I did all three objectives in the original Dungeons Adventure, which had slightly different characters in it. Like, the characters are largely the same, but they were sort of... Their relationships and, like, appearances, uh, gender, and the sort were, were different then. Um, for instance, the uh, in the original adventure, the barrister was a man. I know that much. Um, and instead of his brother hiring you, it was his brother-in-law. Um to find out what happened to his wife as opposed to their shared father. Spoiler alert. It's bad. Um, uh, but one of the things um, is that um, the barrister stores the painting on the second floor of... Um, um, on, yeah, on the second floor of... Um, or the, the floor above the ground floor, I guess, depending on how you go about numbering floors. Um, uh, she stores it there, uh, but that one is fake. Uh, the real one is in a secret vault that is in her basement. Um, and I added in that there is an invisible stalker in her basement who that has been there for about 15 years, and it literally just sits in the top corner of her basement and waits for someone to try and get into the vault, and then it tries to kill them. Who isn't the barrister? The barrister can go in and out with no, no problems. I believe also the butler would probably be able to get in and out of there as well. I imagine she would probably trust him to do that. Probably. So one thing I actually do want to do is... Is this, and then go two, and go d6. Oh. Because one other piece of information I wanted to put in, I don't remember what it was. I've already forgotten. Oh. Protected pane of glass. Of her first floor. Chimney breast. Of her first floor lounge. There we go. Um, but yeah. So I also did the stakeout things. If the barrister receives fresh groceries, delivered to her home every day via a wagon delivery. A middle-aged halfling woman comes to collect it and brings it around the back of the house. If the barrister has a dog. Given its barks and snarls, it's likely very large and very aggressive. There's always a member of the barrister's security detail in the front garden of the estate. The barrister only rarely leaves her home, never for more than a few hours, and seemingly never at night. Um... Just clear my throat. Oh no, I was about to press this button. Um, how do I? Hang on, let's do this. If I if I lean away from the mic, if I, maybe maybe here, over here, maybe this is safe. I don't know if it's safe here to cough. I don't want to press the button on the mic either because it's gonna be real loud. <coughs> yeah, never mind. That was super loud. Also, rip. Oh well, I'll learn at some point. Like. However, Algeron Estate and Law Offices, I do need to go look at examples of how these have been done. 
that's sort of going to be a, a lot of the stream today is going to be me sort of like making a start on the description of chapter two mostly because i want to stop at like five o'clock because i want to go out and like leave my house for a period of time um and then i want to have a game to run once i get back basically um so i'm only gonna be going for about an hour um today um right let's take a look at some other official adventures and see if um i can find I, I want like an adventure that starts with a chapter describing like that that has one of its entire chapters dedicated to like a dungeon and i imagine chapter 15 of curse of strahd might be a good shout uh, sort of sort of that is one thing that is that is one thing um is uh this this group flowery prose about estate start at starting point uh this is yeah this is an a plus so we'll go approaching the estate chapter one or when they attempt to break in read or paraphrase yeah i i've read or paraphrase is definitely something i i have inadvertently uh stolen off of um uh christian um of so i don't i don't want to say his surname because he i i don't want to say his surname because i know i know for a fact i say, I say that i'm like 80 percent sure i'm going to pronounce it wrong um because his surname is very very german and i and I, I don't I don't feel confident in pronouncing it the way that I I think it in my head because I, I know for a fact that everyone and their mother pronounces my name wrong because they read it and they don't they don't read it right um, and uh, yeah they say it wrong um, but uh, CZRPG because I've been editing his stuff for years and he uses read or paraphrase. I think it was a couple, I think it was a couple days ago, maybe on Monday, where I straight up like convinced myself that that was a thing that they did in the books. No, I like fucking gaslight gatekept girl bossed myself into thinking that he, like that's a, that's a Watsy thing when it's just exclusively something that he does. Um, and I'm so used to editing it and or like, like, you know, editing text where he uses it. Um, like I legit have like some of his work open in another tab because I've been editing stuff for his Patreon. That's like that's like fifty percent of my job at this point <laughs> is um, is is doing editing work for him. Um, coincidentally, goes so to his Patreon. I don't get a kickback from it at all. Like I, I get paid flat rate for um um for editing like the stuff that goes on his Patreon and like say like it, it's good stuff why am i addressing the mic <laughs> i realized i did that whole thing looking at the mic and addressing the mic <laughs> okay i'll get the hang of this eventually i've only been doing this for two fucking years i completely forgot i didn't do anything for two years i didn't do anything for my fucking birthday like fair enough the last sort of three weeks have been a tailspin cavalcade of misery courtesy of all Nazi and has been I don't know I'm trying to think of something funny it's it's, it's not very funny but um right I'm gonna shut up now Uh, right, um, ooh, Lost Ones of Vandelva has this. Generally does a very good job of 
describing like Yeah, they do general features, that's it. So general features is probably going to be the one I'm going to start with. And then we do areas of the estate. Yes, we got general features, areas of the estate. Um, so the areas of the estate, because I've got, a, I've got a lot of options, because I could do, you know, A, B, C. I think, um, generally, D&D adventures will do, um, big adventures like Curse of Strahd will do lettered areas, like big areas. Um, like, for instance, uh. Uh, Valaki, I think, is like one of the towns in Barovia and has, and you, they use like the letter F, I think, I want to say. I, I don't actually know because it literally goes from like A, A, A to Z in um, in Barovia. That's how, that's how much shit there is in Curse of Strahd. There is dedicated areas listing from A to Z, um, and all of them are like in depth towns villages and dungeons um like castle ravenloft is this insane like like rat race maze um and it is incredible i, I absolutely adore castle ravenloft as a dungeon it is it is my favorite dungeon i think in 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 any um like a absolutely anything in uh, in D D at all here we go, areas of Barovia. Oh, so, oh, okay, some of them are like, area A is like, the road that runs through Barovia. Like, that's, meh. Or like, the area B, there's like a couple gates and things like that. But, um, like, area C is the wilderness and shit. But a lot of them are pretty in-depth areas with a lot of stuff, so... Um, right, so, so I, I sort of have the option of, like, sorting the floors into letters, which I'm kind of tempted to do. Um, like, I remember the, the original version of this adventure, I sorted the, um, the whole floor, or the whole mansion is, uh, area A, or, uh, or A, the, so the area, the areas in A are the um are the grounds uh area b is the ground floor c is the first floor d is the second floor e is the third floor and then there is you know a single there's area f is the basement and area uh, area g is the attic i think that works i, th I think that works um I'm not sure. Um... 
Correspond to labels on the map of the estate. Each of the following letters correspond Uh, relatively well, relatively well. Um, start pretty late today, but that's not too big of a deal. Um, I'll probably probably only be going for another sort of forty minutes or so, but I want to make a start on the opening, like the you know the actual like chapter two, like the areas of the estate and stuff like that. Consult the sections table. to G? I think it does. Yes. The ground floor of the estate. Ground floor, the first floor. The courtyards and grounds. Ground floor, first floor, second floor, third floor. Basement. Attic. How much? 
how many areas actually are there? Like, is this needed? Do I need this? One, two, three, four. Uh, four, eight, 12, 18. Um, 25, 29, 31. No, I, uh, there's, there's 31 areas. I can just have the areas be numbered. Like, I don't... I, I don't... Uh, how, do, how, how, do, how do people feel about... Um, I guess I'll probably sort of lay it out flat of like, I have basically two options of like numbering and lettering the areas of the mansion. Uh, there is this section where there are the sections of the mansion uh, divided into letters with numbers denoting the smaller areas. So for instance, um, the front gate of the mansion will be area A1. The main courtyard will be area A2. The front door to the building itself will be area A3. If you go through those doors, you will enter area B1, which is the sort of like the, the main hall of the ground floor of the mansion. If you go up the stairs, um, you will enter the first floor and will enter area C1, which is the first floor main corridor. Um, yeah, if you sort of go through there, you'll... Uh, and uh, you'll, you'll enter into the lounge, which is area C2. You can go around through a corridor and get area C3 to area C4, which is the library. Now there, there's another courtyard, it's area C5, and you can go up the stairs to area D1, which is the second floor corridor. Um, like there's that. Or, I just... The front gate is area 1. The courtyard is area 2. The front door is area 3 the like the, the the back garden is area four and you you know if you choose to go back around there and you can go in through the main doors and enter into area five which one of those is more legible because i i think there, there are upsides and downsides to both this here helps keep things very very separate in a sense of like you always know exactly where you need to go um, you all like you always know um like when like i guess i guess if you're a dm and you're running this and you see see something you know what floor that's on but how helpful is that because I, I, th I think it's probably a good idea, but I don't actually know. But, um, I'll think on it, but if anyone has an input, uh, you are welcome to provide it, or you're invited to provide it. Uh, so, areas of the estate... Okay, so the general features are generally, um, they are of great use because they, um, um, they provide sort of, like, ceiling heights, uh, the climbability of walls, um, things like that. Um...
the ground floor, floor, first floor, and second floor are open to clients of the barristers. Uh, they are tastefully decorated. much more plain No, I, I don't need to. C, Appendix, B, Brickwork, Lieutenant, And protected doors. C 
certain doors marked with a P on the map. Um, Certain doors marked with a P on the map. They're protected by an arcane lock spell. These doors are all connected to a magical network via their door handle, via their handle. Um. To magical network via their no doorknobs. Oh, that's actually very cool. Because you can knock a guard out and just like you know, use their hand to open the door, which is hilarious. full mark of the ninja style um, Doors, protected doors, um, light. Um, mounted on walls, can walls, concerts, and lit with a. Let me just read Continual Flame real quick. A Continual Flame can be covered or hidden, but not smothered or quenched. 
Um, that's it. It's kind of like a light switch. You just kind of like, you know, you flip up the thing and then the candle, the candle's lights or doesn't light. It's already lit. It's under the thing, but it's a continual flame spell. Um, I really like continual flame uh, because uh, uh, rich people would fill their houses with continual flame spells. Like they, they just would. It would say like it's like a solar panel, right? Like you never have to buy firewood or, or pay for oil for oil lanterns because you just have a continual flame and just some means of covering the flame. Even if you just throw a sheet over a lamp, that that'll do it. Um. I feel like there's more. Oh, I guess there's the walls. Um, the exterior walls are made from stone bricks. Oh, without question, but... This, this is like a big city environment where uh, it's basically it's, it's the kind of thing where wizards aren't enterprising enough in D&D like certainly in when I ever run a home game um, there's there's always if there's a big city with wizards in it some of those wizards are mage rights which means that they are basically uh, depending on the setting they might even be blue collar wizards where all sort of like they are they are small business owning wizards where you know, hey, my name is Steve. Like, I'm not like, oh, I'm not Rabadab the the amazing. It's like, no, my name, my name is, my name is like Jerry, and my job is I make continual flames for people. Like, that's what I do. That's my job. Um, people pay me. You know, you 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 pay me seventy five gold pieces. I will install a continual flame in your house. Um, you know, that pays for the materials and then it also pays for, you know, the, the, um, for the, it also earns him a profit. I believe Continual Flame, it costs ruby dust, which I guess eventually, you know, they got a corner of the market on that ruby dust, but like, you know, that's, that's a whole other guy's job. That, that's a whole industry of a ruby dust for Continual Flames, like, um... Like how 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 much is a yeah The walls are made from stone bricks and can be scaled with a successful DC 20 strength athletics check. A creature with a climbing speed makes this check with advantage. Okay, one of these Mastodonovs. Um, let me look at like some of the other dungeons in like, Cragmore Castle. It's floors. That's another thing is described.
Okay, so it largely has simple tile floors. All have rich dark wood flooring. Just dark wood flooring. Okay, cool. Oh, they just spoiled a million cards for All Will Be One again. Let me guess, they're all in other languages? Yes, they are. Um, well, that's something new. Just scrolling through to see if there's any, like, legendary creatures I want to look at. Damn, should, 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 should I suck when, like, my two core hobbies are owned by the same dogshit company, huh? Um, both of whom seem intent on driving them into the fucking ground. Uh, um... It's a good time. Good time. Oh, I think all of these are in Spanish? It looks like Spanish. Yeah, it's gotta be Spanish. <laughs> There's a fucking screenshot from a YouTube video, fuck me. I can see the fucking like, progress bar crying at amateur hour, fuck's sake. Oh, no one's even bloody translated this one yet. Oh, fuck me. Christ. Um, I think the, the, the main thing is is a lot of the settings I run are like, if you're a wizard, you can go to wizard school. Like, you know, there, there's like a formal education where you can be taught. If you're like a sorcerer, it's kind of just like, you, you can't really teach a sorcerer. The whole thing is they just go out and maybe, maybe they get better at magic maybe they don't um and like a warlock is obviously a whole can of worms um like a priest if a priest is rich like this this is a lesson for life if a priest if a priest is rich you don't want anything to do with them like <laughs> this is a life lesson not just a, a, a rule for a setting um i'm not saying priests should be poor you know, every, everyone has a, has, a, has a right to comfortable living and, and the, the no understanding. The Catholic Church, if you're a priest, you get some pretty nice living, you know. You get a nice house, usually. Like, um, hell, the fucking Church of England does it too. Um, but, like, priests shouldn't own sports cars. Priests shouldn't be wealthy. <laughs> I think there's... Because in in like in 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 my experience as like I, I come from a from a pretty like a, like a relatively poor family, not like agonizingly poor, but like you know we have and continue to make sacrifices to have modern comforts. You know, I I, I have a nice computer. Um, for, I mean, because I applied for a grant and I got a grant, I got the full grant, I got a thousand bucks. I paid like 300 quid for this very nice computer. Um, you know, I can afford nice things, um, and my family can afford nice things because we don't go on holiday. We don't really ever buy new clothes. This shirt, I've owned this shirt for seven years, right? Like, I've genuinely owned this shirt for like six or seven years. Um, I have another shirt. It's the inverse of this shirt, the the dark blue one with the white stripes. There is a photo of me, clean shaven and with short hair, when I was like 15 or 16, wearing that shirt. And that shirt's just in that cupboard over there, and I still wear it. Um, those kinds of like, yeah, you know, I'm I'm a real, real. These again, manky as hell. Um, some of the newer ones are fine. I say some of them. The newer ones are fine. This one is old and kind of kind of stanky. Um, I wear it in the house. I don't wear, try not to wear it out, but. You know, I I don't come from money, right? Um, I went to a school in a part of town that was very much a mixed bag. I, I there's a there's a big district of of my hometown that is it's like the biggest district of my hometown, and one end of it is pretty poor, not like impoverished, but you know, pretty working class. On the other end is very middle class and upper class in some cases and all of those kids went to school together um when i went to high school it was all over the place because 
I remember a lot of the rich kids were insufferable cunts. But a lot of the poor kids... Um, I say a lot. It's like, there's a, there's a very vocal subsection of both where, like, some of the rich kids were snobby cunts. Um, damn straight. <laughs> um, well, you know, some of the poor kids I went to high school with were very pleasant, and some of them were like, oh, I don't want to be near you because you will stab me. Like, you know, <laughs> um, it, obviously, you know, you're in a group of, you know, when I went to high school, there was, um, there was about 300 people in my, in my, in my graduating class, like, UK schools tend to be a lot smaller than US schools, um, because, you know, there's, there's, like, my, my town is not very big, and there's, like, seven high schools, um, yeah, I, I live in, like, a small city, and there's, like, seven or eight high schools in, in my city, uh, and they're all about the same kind of size, with about 11 to 1500 students, um, but, um, when later on in high school, I started being friends. Like all, basically, all the people I talk to now, a lot of them are regulars in here, are from a neighboring town, which is incredibly middle class, upper class even. Um, a lot of their families, not necessarily them, in fact, very few of them, uh, because, you know, we're Zoomers and we're all fucked. Um, but um, their families are genuinely quite wealthy, um, or at the very least, very comfortably middle class. Um, and, um, the sort of the upper echelon where they sort of crest into, like, upper classes where they have lived very different lives to me. Um, some of them have been incredibly down to earth. Some of them have been uh, naive but well-meaning. Um, I've yet to really meet, like, a grown-ass rich person who is genuinely just a cunt, right? Um... Like, the, the kinds of, like, wealth that is required for you to be so out of touch with humanity that you're, like, you know, you become, you be, you know, you're, you're entering, like, post-millionaire territory where you're, like, a, I'm not sure if you count as a human being anymore. Like, you are so far divorced from humankind that I, I, there is no possible way that we could relate. I've never met anyone like that, but I've also ne never met anyone that rich either. I think the richest people I know are in the hundreds of thousands in the bank kind of rich, not the several millions in the bank rich, to my understanding, at least. I, I, don't, I don't know the financial situation of everyone I know, but um, that's the kind of sort of zone. Um, like, super rich people, yeah, no, I don't fucking trust them, but if, you know, if they own a fucking nice car and a pool, um, then, um, like, um, uh, yeah, if they have a fancy car in a pool, then it might be fine, I don't know. Oh, there's a whole tangent there, but, um, ah, yes, satanic panic, good stuff. Um... Yeah, the, uh, uh, yeah, the, 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 the OGL stuff, um, got real bad last night. It was all yesterday afternoon. It was, uh, it was bad. Um, it was a whole fucking mess. I have a feeling it's gonna keep getting worse as well. People are starting to, like, actually fucking cannibalize each other over it, and it's absolutely horrendous. Maybe, but I, I I don't know. It it might be it might be an exposure thing, really, because my the the list the number of rich people I've met who are like just actively pricks um, are um, it's pretty small. Um, but um, and and on, honestly, like. The, the the UK is a weird one because it is very much a case of like there's not really many 
sort of like it's and am like there's, there's there's sort of a lot of like there's a lot of sort of US demographics where you can think of like you know rich person from this neighborhood or whatever is like or this state or this you know sort of county of this state is probably a prick like you know it's not a you know obviously it's not a law by any means but like um but yeah it is um I think the the UK is very much it's like a anyone you meet is a total fucking roll of the dice, and in general that's true. But it, there's 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 very little like there's there's very little like global well, not global like countrywide stereotype of like oh person who is this demographic is this. There's very very little of that, um, and and all the ones that exist are very much like everyone's like yeah we know this isn't true kind of situation like is everyone from Essex an idiot no that's just a, that's a TV show same goes for Geordies um yeah yeah I say I like our, our the, the the kinds of like people that like we grew up around are like orders of magnitude apart um I I I've yeah Based on the stories I've heard from AJ, I can corroborate that. Yeah, I, 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 I've never met these people, and I, I still want to find out who they are and what the fuck is wrong with them. Um, ah, yes. work in a sec.
Okay, right. Oh. Um. Let's write this opening section here and the prose bit here, and I'll probably call it there for today, I think. I wanted to do more, but I've, like, been, like, I got sidetracked by, like, four different things this afternoon. Um, and I will be doing a lot more work tomorrow. Um, and I also don't really have any specific time when I need to stop, either. Um... Jerome Estate and Law Offices. Uh, sits on, uh, stands. Un uh, unloans some halfway down, cut a street. Um... Hmm. Buy, buy the homes. Thank you very much for following. Uh, while well, surrounded by wealthy townhouses. Hey, welcome in. Cool. I'll probably be finishing up relatively soon, but probably not for a good another sort of five, ten minutes or so. Is an imposing, lonesome building that stands proud. That stands proud. Um, 
in the middle of Cutter Street. While it's surrounded by um, surrounded by wealthy townhouses near the center of Runswick, Algerone Estate and Law Office is an imposing, lonesome building that stands proud in the middle of, Cut of Cutter Street. Um, the barrister Rita Algerone. No, I'll just put like barrister Rita Algerone. Um, both as her, f uh, both as her, both as a home and a in the main offices of her legal practice. Um, Such a well regarded largely to stand around Easily one of the most famous pieces of art in the world. Oh no, easily. Um, that, that I think will do it, I think for that section, now, I'm going to have to write a lot of box text, so that's, that's, that's going to be a whole thing, I'm going to have to write a lot of this stuff, but that should be fine. Um... Um, <clears throat> standing, um, standing alone, is a monolithic building. Five stories tall. With a narrow profile.
Oh, oh, what, are, what are the iron grates on top of the fence called? Um, iron bits on stone wall. No iron bars on stone wall. Oh, what are they called? They have they have a very specific name. They're, they're not just called wall spikes, right? Oh, so yeah, welcome in. Um, so I won't be going for too much longer. I'm, I'm probably going to finish up this uh, this box text here and uh, and call it there because I've I've got a game to prepare for tonight. But um, but yeah, no, no, no stop by. I will. I am doing these streams probably. Um, I'll take a look, but I, that doesn't sound right. Um, but yeah, I say I'm because while I'm think so um no because i don't mm. but yeah uh, yeah you could yeah call the column spiked iron railing um but yeah so uh, while i'm working on this um uh adventure i will be streaming basically every weekday from around two to three until about now i just started a bit late today because i was like um sidetracked in the afternoon uh, topped with wrought iron spiked railings surrounds the property with wrought iron spiked railings surround a six foot high brick wall topped with wrought iron spiked railings surrounds the property with an elaborate barring entry barring entry to outsiders Two city watch guards stand Two city watch guards stand at the entrance Five stories tall with a narrow profile it almost looks as though the estate simply pierced through the earth in the middle of Brunswick um, I like that. I like that. That has sort of it has sort of a dynamicness. You kind of see the building, and it kind of brings you down, and you see the wall, and you come to the front, you see the gate, you see the guards. I I, I like that. You kind of um, th those are always the best kind of descriptions. I I, I think anyway, where um, you kind of you view something the way a person would view it you sort of I, I, there was one of the descriptions of like in like the introduction i think i talked about this where I was, I was really happy with it because it it describes the character like like you're literally looking at them from the bottom up like it describes them as your eyes would move up and you would notice individual features as opposed to just listing facial features and body type um which one of the other ones i i, I did i also wasn't really happy with i'm probably gonna go back and change but, um, yeah, I didn't get as much done today as I wanted to, but I have only really been streaming for about an hour, and I spent at least 15 to 20 minutes just sort of, you know, we were, like, chatting about random bits. Um, but I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to try and stream a bit earlier tomorrow as well. Um, but yeah, I say, I'm, I'm, um, 
I, I, I do have a lot of work to do this weekend, like a lot, a lot of work. So, um, which is not going to be related to this because there's crazy amounts of shit to do. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off here. Uh, hope folks have enjoyed themselves. Obviously, apologies to people who have just just appeared and were like looking to catch stuff for the stream. But I, I will be back tomorrow. Um, I really need to change up my schedule because I just kind of haven't done that. So I'm gonna sort that. Um, after this if I get the chance but uh yeah let's say uh, I'm gonna head off now hope folks have enjoyed themselves I will hopefully see you tomorrow see you.